Today is Joshua here with senior forward on the Syracuse Orange women's team, Ayesha Hemingway. Thank you for joining us. No problem. Anytime. All right, now, Ayesha, you're one of two seniors on the Syracuse basketball team. Uh, you're a big part of the offense, leading the team in points, uh, a little under seven rebounds per game. Coach has a lot of confidence in you, runs a lot of high-low. But do some of the younger players look up to you as a leader? Yes, definitely. You know, I've been here for, I've been playing here for two years, but I've been here for three. You know, I know what coach wants and I, I know his game plan. So, you know, they, they ask me a lot of questions, you know, with Rachel at our point guard position, you know, first year, like really playing, like she asked me a lot of questions like what Erica used to do last year, what she needs to work on. So, you know, with her, Shay, and a couple of them, they, they really look, they really look up to me. They make it. They basically make sure they give me the ball in the hot post and how I want it and what they need to do to make make a better pass for Kayla. You know, so yes. All right, Aisha, you talked about being here for three years and then only playing for two. How was that transition from Georgia Tech and transferring here your sophomore year? Um, honestly, sitting out that year, I was talking to Nicole Michaels a lot, and she was just telling me, you know, that year I set out. She was like, you know, I, this is going to be you next year. You know, we need you to step up. And, and I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure I got in the right way. And she just was like, I asked her questions like, what, what do he like? What do he need? You know, he like, what, what do he, what do you think he's going to need from me as a player? You know, what I need to work on while I'm sitting out. So, you know, while I was sitting out, I was basically learning his game plan, learning his scheme, what he like, you know, what he needed me to do. And when he recruited me, he just was like, you know, I'm going to need you to come here and, and score. Like, you know, Nicole Mike was leaving, leaving here and number one in scoring and we're not going to have another score so I really look forward to you coming in here and making a big difference so when he said that to me I really used Nicole Michael to my advantage saying out that year. All right so Coach Cube played a big part in you transferring from Georgia Tech did he visit you a lot while you were at Georgia Tech when you were considering transferring? No he didn't visit me um when I when I when they sent out the letters to all the colleges that I was interested in he was like one of the first ones to hit me back he emailed me for my birthday I thought that was you know really nice of him like he made sure all my classes transferred over like not too many schools was doing that early like they was waiting to the end and I just was like you know he really is in it for my best interest so why not give him a, you know a shot and I really appreciate that in a way he used to talk to me and it felt comfortable like he was talking to me like I was a, a friend more so a player what do you think is uh, one of the most rewarding things from uh, being here and then also being at Georgia Tech? Well, honestly, the most rewarding thing being here is my family get to see me all the time. You know, being at Georgia Tech, what it was like 16 hours different driving. So my mom, my sisters and brothers couldn't see me much. Now sitting here playing at Rutgers, Seton Hall, St. John's, you know, I take advantage, like I took advantage of it and that's why I choose Syracuse. <laughs> Coach Q obviously has a lot of confidence in you. He runs a lot of high-low, as I mentioned before. Had 33 points, a new career high for you against Pittsburgh. But uh, recently, teams have been fouling you a lot, and then you've been having a lot of success at the foul line, punishing them from, from, the, from the charity stripe. Um, I just got to give all, all the credit to Coach and my teammates for making sure they got me the ball to the high post. It's not easy getting the ball to the mm -hmm. high post because they pinch on us so much because me and Kayla is leading this team mm -hmm. to scoring. You know, with them being able to get it to me at the high post and giving me the opportunity to drive, you know, Kayla take advantage. You know, she makes sure she gets at least two people out my way when I'm mm -hmm. driving to the basket. So at the end of the day, it's more so a team thing than me getting to the basket. And when they foul me, I think it's more so I don't know, I just, I just go hard every time. And coach always told me, to go so hard to the basket, if they foul you, take advantage of it and make those free, them free throws. Uh, as part of that toughness, you said as a, as a kid, they used to call you Baby Barkley. Is that a nickname that the team uses? No, actually, um, I played AAU for one year. And um, that summer I was going out, one of the, um, one of the um, guys just came up to me. I was like, man. Like, you play so much like Barkley. I'm gonna start calling you Baby Barkley. And from there on, like when I was um, traveling, everything was Baby Barkley, mm -hmm. Baby Barkley. And I just was like, you know what, I like it. And, then at, and the crazy thing was, my number was 34. Mm -hmm. So it was like everything just added up and it was cool. So was uh, Charles Barkley a player you tried to <laughs> aspire to be uh, growing up once people started calling you that? Honestly, I always loved Shaquille O'Neal because he was such a big bully. I never had his height or his size, but I always considered myself like, regardless, I don't care how big you are, how tall you are, I'm going to go up to you with all my might. So 
that's who I really looked up to. But as I started getting older, I realized I wasn't growing no more. <laughs> so <laughs> I started, yeah, I started looking up to Charles Barkley. Now, is there a nickname that the team does call you? Um, here? Yes. They call me Baby C. Okay. For baby Charles. Mm. <laughs> yeah. okay. Everything, like, now is, that's, that's my nickname. Okay. So. <laughs> Something you've accepted and yeah. taken a, a role into. Yeah. And uh, now with a few games left, uh, you being one of the few seniors on the team, is there any type of sadness with the season coming to an end? I don't think about it. I just take it one day at a time, and I just hope it never ends. You know, I want to I wanna make it and keep going until the end of March. I want to do whatever I can and make sure we're still playing. So I just take it one day at a time, and, and hopefully we keep playing so I can't play no more, you know. So um, I just want to keep winning, and as long as we keep winning, I'm going to be happy. And no sad moments yet, not just yet. Uh, what is one of your favorite things to do outside of basketball? Hmm, I have a lot. I love to go shopping. <laughs> I love... Any food. favorite places? Um, I like Urban Outfitters. I like Forever 21. Uh, I shop everywhere. It's really nothing to me. I could go out and I would shop for three hours if I had enough money to do so. So The team's been using a lot of t different hairstyles, and you switched your hairstyle up several times th throughout the season. Uh, is there anything behind the hairstyle you're using now? I just wanted to try something different. And I'm always going black, so I decided to try a different color. But I love different hairstyles. I love to be different, and that's me. You've been using that hairstyle for quite some time now. Uh, when, did, when did you get it done? It's been like two weeks. Yeah, it's been like two weeks. It needs to come out. It's about time for it to come out. <laughs> but it's hard for me to actually get my hair done as much as I would like to because we always like playing or we always on a roll. But if I could, I would definitely get my hair done every week because I love to change it up. Any uh, any comments on uh, either Rachel Coffey's hairstyle or Elijah Hall's hairstyle? I love it. Like I love I love different styles. I love when people come out and just try different things because you know that's that's the whole part of life. Try different stuff. Stop being normal. Like just go out and just be different. Be free. And you know when you try different colors and then go on ball, like that's really a big change and it makes them look good. Like you know, as long as you're confident in what you're doing, then it looks good on you. I right, thank you. Darius Joshua here with Aisha Hemingway.